the hands of your heart be open to receive from the Lord. Hallelujah. There's this saying that when you work for God, God will work for you. And I've been asking myself this question. Who is working for God? Or better to put, are you working for God? Am I working for God? How then do I expect God to work for me? For so long I wait, I prayed, I shout, I scream, I cry. Asking God, do this, do that for me. And yet, it seems as though my prayers are not answered. But I go back and I ask, am I working for God? What have I done for God? Oh, I want to be ignited. I want my light to shine above the world, above the sea, above the oceans, above the Pacific, above the Atlantic Ocean. I want nations to hear about me. I want my name to get to Europe, to Australia, to Asia, to South America, to North America, to Africa. But what am I doing for God? Oh, we were told we should have genuine spiritual tests for God. But every day I go hungry, hungry for physical food. I go hungry for fufu ever. I go hungry for all sorts of things. But what is God? I get filled. What is God? I have no taste. I have no hunger. I have no sin. I have no energy. But yet I want to ignite. I want to drive the latest cars. I want to be in big mansions but what is God doesn't concern me look around you you can see the happiness look around you how come this generation is becoming cold look warmness filled our souls and yet we go to mountains we go to churches we go to auditorium singing shouting praising asking God to do several things for us but the question is what are we doing for God oh we were told our faith our faith our faith let your faith be like that of the mustard seed then you will tell this mountain be that moved and cast them into the sea but yet my faith is not in God my faith is in my labor my faith is in my strength my faith is in what I can do but yet I go back to God screaming and shouting God do this for me and he looks at you do you believe in me do you believe in the one who has set you on that path, on that journey that you are going on right now? You want to be ignited. You want the world to know about you. You want your flame, your fire to subside. But yet, what do you know about God? Oh, we were told, let your service be unto God. Oh, but yet, Every time I look to my right, every time I look to my left, all I see is a empty chest as though there are no youth alive. What are you doing to God? Oh, your service. Oh, I want to come to church. I want to look good. I want to drip on drip. But yet my service has, is, is, is absent in the presence of the Lord. It matters only when I come to church and I have fine clothes on me. And I wondered, where did Samuel meet David? Where was David when he was to be anointed as king? Oh, his brothers were probably waiting and ready to receive Samuel dressed in their beautiful robes because someone is about to be anointed as the king. But Sam, David was out there in the field. Service walking them into the ship. And yet, those who are dressed in beautiful robes were taught to stand and wait for David until he gets back to the anointed as the king. What are you doing for God? Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm screaming. I'm sorry, I'm shouting. Oh, you should be pampered. You should be rubbed on the head. You should be fed. You should be, be encouraged. You should be... And I asked myself, are we babies? Oh! Like babies, we need to be given biscuits, capisol, bobo, and sieved to do the things of God. Oh, like babies, we need to be pampered, not to cry when we are told the things that hurt. And yet, we want to ignite. We want our life to move beyond continents. 
We want to soar beyond countries. We want to move from Asia. We want our names to be heard across the world. But yet, our fire for God is cold. Well, I am lost for further words to say for us. That to say, it is left to you. Thank you so much.